today we will discuss about Newton's defined difference interpolation method. It's a type of interpolation method by which one can find an unknown function value within a given set of values, given set of independent values. Now here, this method will be applicable for not equal interval, unequal interval. So, how to do this thing? So, we are going to design a polynomial. We are going to write a polynomial by the operator which is known as divide difference operator or divide difference technique. So, what is the divide difference technique? Divide difference technique is the difference and divide. Now, we can see this is given as there is a division and division of what? Division of difference. Now, f of x0 and x1. So, we are con con considering a set of values of x and set of values of y. So, what we are finding? We are trying to consider a difference between x values, independent value variables here and the difference between the function and you are dividing this. So, this is for x0, x1. This is also for x1 and x2. The similar concept will be x2. So, when you are dividing, when you are differentiating and dividing, obviously, this will give you a numerical. This will also give you a limit. Now, if you want to get the difference or the divide difference between these two, then also we are going to use the same method. Just look at this. We have a difference between x0, x1 and x2. Now, in this case, this will be a difference between this and this minus of this. Divided, divided by x2 minus x2 minus So, so first you are finding the difference, dividing, difference, dividing, and then you are keep on continuing with a higher order. So this is this can be considered as a first order, first order, then this will be considered as a second order, this can be considered as a third order where we are finding the difference between x0, x1, x2, and x3. Now, another important part is that f of x0, comma x1, this must be equal to f of x1, comma x3. Because you are finding the difference and you are dividing this particular part. So, this is going to be Now, these are the operator or these are the coefficients of the unknown polynomial. Now, how to find this operation or how to find this coefficient and how to write the polynomial? Just look at this. We have a set of variables, independent variables and the set of function values. x0, x1, x1 y1 or f of x1 up to x4 or xn. Now, x0, x1 and x1, x2, they may be or may not be of equal size. Then also you can use this. Now, what is this one? So, first is delta f of x. Now, here we are finding the difference between f of x0 and f of x1. See, f of x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x1 minus x. Say well, you can get it for x1, x2, you can get it for x2, x3, and uh, this will be sorry, uh, this will be uh, uh, taking a little. This will be x3 and x4. This value. This will be x3 and x4. Now when you have this one, then we can get the set next one. You will find the difference between this and this. So you are finding the difference between this. Now we have a difference between f of x0, x1, x2, f of x0, x1 and for x2. This is the second order divide. Okay. So you can get it x1, x2, x3. So from where you will get? Or by using this two. Okay. Now this is the second order. If you want to find it for the third order. So, what you have to consider? You have to consider this one and you can continue it. You can keep on continue it. If you have a large set of data, so we need to go for the higher order. When you have this higher order or when you have this divide difference thing, they will add the coefficient of the polynomial. How does it look like? The polynomial will look something like this. The function. Okay. From the unknown set of values or, or given set of values, we can write the polynomial. Y is equal to fx. So, how this will be expanded? 
इसी फर्स्ट इज से वाई जीरो और ए एट फंक्शन फंक्शन एट एक्स जीरो ओके ना एक्स माइनस एक्स जीरो वी रियली डोंट इफ यू अबाउट द गिवन वैल्यू वी कैन गेट इट एक्स माइनस एक्स जीरो एंड व्हाट इज दिस द ऑपरेटर व्हाट इज द ऑपरेटर एफ ऑफ एक्स जीरो एक्स वन आई यू नो व्हाट इज एक्स जीरो एक्स वन सो वी कैन गेट दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड द सेट नेक्स्ट सेट एक्स जीरो एक्स वन एक्स x minus x zero, x minus x one, and the operator is for x zero, x one, x two. We can obviously consider it for three or four, and let me just write it for the nth one. X minus x zero, x minus x one, x minus x two, up up to x minus x n minus. And what will be the coefficient? Coefficient will be x zero, x one, x two, up to x n. Now when you have the polynomial. If you want to find the value somewhere here, somewhere, okay. So you need to find the function value of this point, okay. So this is considered as x. So put the value of x. These are the numerical values. So put the numerical value of x. You will get the point. Now we'll see a simple numerical problem of this particular method. Now here we are asked to define. The Newton's divide difference formula to find function at x function at two x is equal to two x is equal to eight and x is equal to fifteen. Now the given set of values are four, five, seven, ten, eleven, and thirteen. They all are not of equal space. Okay. Now see this. This is two, and this gap is three. Now here x is equal to eight. This is within the range. 4 to 13. Our range is 4 to 13. Obviously, 8 will be somewhere here. This is within the. But if you see, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 15. This is out of range. This is the advantage of this method. You can also use this method for extrapolation, just outside the given range. And obviously, we are assuming that this nature of the polynomial continuing for in a small uh, range outside of this. Given. Now, how to find the operator? Now, see, forty-eight, ten, two, nine, four, and up to this answer. So, four, five, seven, up to thirty. Now, first is the divide difference of first order. So, hundred minus forty-eight divided by five minus four. Get that. So, get the set of first order of divide. Then, get is for the second order. Ninety-seven minus fifty-two divided by seven minus four. Now, you need to get it. Seven minus four. This is x two minus x. Okay, so consider it for the other. Now again, you can get it for a third order. Okay, this is twenty one minus fifteen divided by ten minus four, and here it becomes zero. So coefficient at that point it becomes. So you need to consider this point. Forty eight, fifty two. Fifteen and one to write the point, and you can predict the function at those values. So now next part is to write the point. This is the simple formula. Now, so f of x zero is forty one. So this is x minus x zero. So it starts with four. Okay, and the difference is given as fifty two. Difference is given as fifty two. Okay. Now x minus x zero, x minus x one. So x minus four, x minus five, and the divide difference is fifteen. Divide difference is fifteen. So we are going along this way. Okay. And the last one, x minus x zero, x minus x one, x minus x two, x minus four, x minus five, x minus seven. And the last is one. This one is one. So the coefficient is one. The last. Put the same. And we get that. So this is the polynomial what we are trying to find. Okay. Now put the values. Of x is equal to two. X is equal to eight. And x is equal to fifteen. You will get the function values. The. So this is this particular method is known as divide difference method. So in this divide difference method, what we are doing? So first we are finding the divide difference and divide thing. And then we are trying to find the polynomial. Okay, we are trying to construct a polynomial, and from this polynomial we can predict the 
interpolated and obviously you are able to get the extrapolated value. So, extrapolated value means outside this particular value, not very far but close to that particular value.